YouTube. What is up, everyone? It's SHL's Blaze. Come at you guys yet another video. Today, we're going to be reacting to some more inanimate Rampa. This is the class trial. This is the first class trial of this fan gan. I'm really excited to see who it is. My guesses so far would be Paper Bomb because I don't remember seeing Bomb during the party for some reason. And I think that Balloon might end up being the one that everyone kind of like thinks is the killer, but ends up not being the killer because of how sus that scene is where Balloon wanted to leave and meet somebody. So my bets are going on Paper and Bomb for sure. Let let me know what you guys think down below and also check out the series for yourself go ahead and click on the link in the description and it'll take you over to the instagram and you guys can check out the entire series you can read it ahead of me and if you already read it well just watch the video and also hit that like button for me it helps me out in the youtube algorithm i would truly appreciate that with that being said let's jump into inanimate rampa the class trial all right here we are guys this we already saw all of this this was crazy we saw the bda if you didn't see the bda well you need to watch the last episode okay <laughs> it was crazy so here we are. This is deadly life. Let's get it popping. The moment I looked down, it felt like I was being stabbed. Baseball, the ultimate soccer star, was dead. It only took a moment to realize that I was screaming. I tried to shut myself up by covering my mouth. This isn't real. This isn't real. This isn't real. This isn't... OJ! 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 What's down there? I didn't say anything. We promised everyone that no one will die. Actually, I promise that no one will die. Yeah, it was you, OJ. Not everyone else. It was you. I broke that promise. I failed them. I failed everyone. I should have been down there. Not baseball. I saw Paper slowly look down at the cliff. Suddenly, he stumbled back in shock. Oh, I'm sorry, Paper. <laughs> oh my god. Ding dong, bing bong. Ahem. Attention all contestants. I have a very special announcement to make. A body has been discovered. Would everyone please make their way to the 60 foot cliff to begin the investigation? Click. This is real. This is actually happening. Baseball is dead. Someone as nice as him is dead. This is my fault. This stupid party idea got him killed. It should have been me instead of baseball. We heard the announcement. Who's dead? Where's baseball? I looked at Nickel with sorrow in my eyes. Oh, they're friends! I forgot about that! Oh, no! Nickel, I'm sorry. The moment I said that, Nickel stumbled back in shock. No. No, 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 no! Oh! Nickel, I'm sorry! This wasn't supposed to happen. I... Here, N Nickel, let's, um, talk for a bit. I'll keep Nickel out of this for a bit. You you guys investigate. Bomb took Nickel away from everyone else to calm him down. The silence was overwhelming. Everyone stared at each other. <laughs> Poor baseball, man. And Nickel. Nickel is going to be destroyed. Someone killed baseball. Someone here was willing to take the first blood. But why? What was the reason? The motive? I have to find out. For everyone's sake. I won't let baseball's death go in vain. Investigate! Here we are. We're going to be investigating, y'all. Beep, beep, beep. What is that? After that sudden sound, I pulled out my monopad to see a strange sight. Hey, we got the monofile. Hey, so the victim is baseball. Cause of death. Bullet to the head. Oh, snap. Where did a gun come from? Wait, what? It's Bob. It is Bob. I don't care what anyone says. <laughs> Okay, maybe maybe that could be a guys though. Maybe that could be like, you know, them trying to like throw me off right now, but it's got to be freaking bomb if not. If not because Bob's the only one that is handy with guns, right? He's the ultimate sniper. He's got to have killed baseball. The body was found at the bottom of a 60-foot cliff at 9:32 p.m. Time of death is 9:03 p.m. But how would anybody get a gun here? I don't remember anyone like finding a gun anywhere, do you guys? Huh? What the monophone file? Ah, it seems that the monophone files are working just fine. Whoa. Oh, come on. Don't act so shocked. You should have gotten used to it at this point. Well, none of us had gotten used to someone freaking dying. Then get used to it. Anyways, these are your monophone files. Make sure to read these because they will be very important to the class trial. Yeah, yeah. Can you leave now? Jeez, fine. Just like that, it was gone. I want that 
dead. Oh, ho, ho, ho. balloon, chill, chill, balloon. I agree with you, but we gotta calm down. You're at a ten. Let's bring it down to a two. I think we all do. Oh, pickle agrees. I guess we should start investigating. Yeah, you guys do that. We will investigate the hotel. Who is this we that you are mentioning? Us, light bulb. Us. Oh. Okay. We watched as everyone separated into groups until it was just paper, pickle, taco, balloon, and I. Okay, first things first. I pulled out the monophone file and started to read. Here we go. The victim is baseball, the ultimate soccer star. The cause of death was a bullet to the head. It seems that it caused a lot of blood loss. The body was found at the bottom of the 60 foot cliff at 9.32 PM. The time of death is estimated to be at 9.03 PM. This file seems important. I should note this down. Truth bullet, the monophone file one. What's next? How about that huge obvious blood stain that everyone is standing on? Everyone looked to the ground to see a bloody trail that is all smudged and smeared across the grass. Oh, right. <laughs> yeah, maybe we should check that out. Pickle got onto the ground and began to touch the bloody grass. It's dry? Dry? Let me see. Taco ran over and touched the blood. She looked at her feet to find nothing on it. Pickle's right. Not a single stain. Huh? So the blood is all dried up? That's weird. Why would there be dried up blood right there? So this must have, have happened earlier than expected. Interesting. I got up from the ground and looked at the edge again. My body hesitated to look down, but if there is anything down there worth noting, then I'll have to take a big step. I walked over to the cliff and looked down again. Oh, what's sad is we can't actually like look at the body. Oh my God. This is just wrong. This is for baseball's sake. Now let's see. There is blood coming from the top of his head. That might be where he got shot. Yeah, it looks like it. Also, there's blood in the water. It looks pretty fresh. Why is he still bleeding if he's dead? Interesting. I think that's all I noticed here. I got up and walked towards everyone else. Did you guys find anything else? Well, um, we did find something. We, uh, we found a... Footprints. Footprints? Where? Right when I asked that, I noticed that balloon was shaking again. But he managed to point behind a rock where the footprints were. I walked behind the rock to see. Oh god. Whoa! Look at that smear of blood! Wait, is somebody else dead? Jesus Christ, what the f Wait, what, OJ? I want to see. Why is there so much blood over here? Holy sh**. Balloon, is this what you saw earlier? Balloon didn't say anything. Even staring at the blood scared him. Something happened here, and Balloon must know what it is. I'll ask him later in the trial. Truth bullet, Balloon's behavior. Wait, so Balloon might have seen something? Hold on. Wait a moment. Why is there two sets of footprints? Wait, two people? Is there an accomplice? Huh? Two sets? Look, there's one set of footprints leading toward the hotel and another leading to the cliff. That seems important. I saw a paper write that down in his journal. Two sets of footprints near the cliff. Something happened here. I think that's everything that is noticeable here. Should we head over to the hotel? Yeah, I think so. Balloon just told me he wants to leave. You weren't supposed to tell him that. All right, let's get going. But where would you, you would have to hide the gun somewhere, right? Are we gonna find the gun or not? With those things in mind, we made our way to the hotel, but right outside the hotel we found. Oh, hey, Bob. Oh, so Bob just shows up all of a sudden, huh? Huh? Oh, hey guys. And they're flustered. Okay, hold on. Bob is sus. How's Nickel? Bomb looked to the side and sighed. He's not doing so well. Baseball's death really affected him. It was hard to watch. I can understand. Losing someone that quick must have had been hard. Actually, come to think of it, he did tell me something. He did? Yeah, when I was talking to Nickel earlier, he told me that he saw a baseball writing something before the party. That sounds like Cap. And when he asked what baseball was doing, he hit the note immediately. Okay, that is starting to make Balloon look sus? Cause didn't Balloon get a note? Whoa, that's weird. Suddenly, Balloon pulled out a piece of paper that was in his pocket and stepped forward. Is this the letter? 
Huh? Balloon, where did you find this? I, uh, oh God. Okay, maybe I'm wrong about it being bomb. I watched Balloon stumble back. This letter was important because this was the same letter I saw Balloon holding earlier. And whatever happened outside scared Balloon. And this letter led him to that. That is true. Ooh, Balloon, you're not looking so hot. I rested my hand on Balloon's shoulder to calm him down. It's okay, Balloon. We can talk about the letter later when you're ready. I saw Balloon grab onto the letter tightly, like he was going to say something, but his grip softened as he nodded. Okay. After that whole situation, we continued by entering the hotel. We walked inside the hotel and began looking around. Suddenly, I saw a Marshmallow sitting on the couch. I slowly sat next to her, so I don't startle her. Oh my god, Marshmallow, she is so adorable, man. So, Marshmallow, did you find anything? Well, not anything right now, but I am focusing on what happened at the party. Well, not anything right- oh wait. Well, not anything right now, but I am focusing on what happened at the party. Okay, that's good. What do you mean? Did you see something? Well, not really see, but heard. What was it? During the party, well, before Nickel came running down the stairs, I heard a loud bang. That must have been the gun. And from the looks of it, you guys heard it too, yes. Yeah, it caught all of us off guard. Well, I have a theory. I believe that sound is what caused Nickel to run downstairs, which means that the sound came from upstairs. Wait, maybe the gun's upstairs. The sound that we heard during the party came from upstairs? So in one of the bedrooms? Exactly. This seems to be pretty useful information. Thanks for telling me this, Marshmallow. Aw, it's nothing. Okay, that puts that puts it back on bomb. That puts it back on bomb because it would have to be a sniper if someone shot a sniper. You know what I mean? If someone shot Balloon that far, it would have to be a sniper, right? With Marshmallow's theory in mind, I decided to check upstairs. When I went upstairs, however, I was stopped by Paintbrush who pulled me aside. OJ, there you are. Come with me. I need to show you something. Before I could get a chance to object, they grabbed my wrist and dragged me to the end of the hall and entered one of the bedrooms. All of the bedrooms were unlocked during investigation, so I looked in every bedroom for some sort of evidence, and I found something. Okay, is it the gun? Is it the freaking gun? What is it? I watched Paintbrush grab a key that was somehow on the bed and walked over to the closet. They put the key inside the lock and opened the closet. What was inside the closet was... Yeah! I am right. I am right, dude. This is all pointing towards Bob. This is easy. Unless it's too easy. It's all pointing towards Bob. A gun? Huh? Why is there a gun in here? I was wondering the same thing until I realized that this blaster sniper rifle is the murder weapon. Murder weapon? Wait, blaster sniper rifle? How do you know the gun's name? Well, it has its name on the weapon. Huh? It does? On closer inspection, the gun had a red name tag with the words, oh, it's Blazer, Blazer sniper rifle on it. It's strange that the murder weapon is inside someone's room. Maybe the culprit used the weapon close by? So should we tell someone about this? Yeah, I think we... Bing dong, bing bong. This is gonna be an easy class trial, baby. This is easy. Ladies, gentlemen, and anyone in between, your time is up. Could everyone make their way to the main field and wait until further instructions? Once everyone has arrived, an elimination trial will begin shortly. Click. Oh, well, I guess we could talk about it during the trial. Yeah, I guess so. Soon enough, Paintbrush and I made our way to the field where we separated into our own groups. I walked over to Paper, Pickle, Bomb, Taco, and Balloon. April was trying to calm down Balloon, who was having a very silent and still panic attack. We all nervously waited until it showed up. Woohoo! Are you all ready for the first ever trial? Yes, I am. I know I shouldn't be excited about this, but I am. Why are you asking like this is a fun event? Someone just f died. I know. That's what makes it fun. Besides, I'm pretty sure they will enjoy this. Who's they? Don't worry. You'll find out soon enough. Anyways, we watched as Monophone 4 walked over and pulled what looks like to be a lever. Suddenly, we felt ourselves moving downward. We were in an elevator. Ooh. Jeez, this place smells weird. 
Stop complaining, drama queen. Balloon, don't start. As the elevator kept falling, I had a moment to think to myself. Baseball, the ultimate soccer star, the one who cared about everyone, was killed over a stupid motive. I won't let this happen to anyone else. Nobody deserves to die. Aw, oh, here we go, y'all. It's hard to make promises and keep them, but I will make one promise to everyone else here. I will save you all. I will make sure that every single one of you is safe. This is really good art, by the way. No one will get hurt. No one will die again. We can get through this together as a team. And that is my promise. Start! Bro, this is gonna be an easy class trial if they piece this together. You know, it's, it, it pretty much is really easy to piece together. First things first, let's begin with the basic rules of the elimination trial. The goal of elimination trial is to uncover the black end. If the innocents succeed and discover the black end, everyone is free to leave while the black end is punished. If you get it wrong though, I'll punish everyone besides the black end. Those are the basics that I will repeat about six more times, so get used to it. You may begin your discussions. That is true though. <laughs> they do reiterate that a lot. Hold on. What the f is that? Oh, oh, it says goal. <laughs> That's so messed up. We turned to see a strange portrait of baseball with the words goal on it. What the f Hey, what else am I supposed to do to pay our respects to the fallen ones? Don't judge me. Anyways, can you all please stop stalking each other and get to discussing? We have a time limit, you know. Fine. Silence overwhelmed the room. No one knew what to say. Well, someone did just die and someone amongst us took the first blood. Someone had to break the silence and start us off. So I took a deep breath and spoke. Maybe we should start off with the things we know. Like, let's start off with the little things before the big things. Okay, that's a good idea. Eh, uh, all right then. Now stop debate. Okay, so what should we discuss first? I really don't know. There's a lot of confusing things that happen here. How about the body? I'm a bit confused on how the body got to the bottom of the cliff. Well, obviously baseball got pushed off the cliff and, cliff and died on the way down. That is wrong. Yeah! No, that's wrong. Look at OJ, man. Gotta love that art. Hmm? I'm what now? <laughs> You're okay, Bo. Sorry, Bo, but there's no way that's correct. Um, yes it is. That's how gravity works. Well, for one, the cause of death was a bullet to the head. And two, this cliff is sort of a different from the ones you know. Hmm? What do you mean? I looked over to Bomb. I gave him the look if I should tell her or not. I don't know. I don't trust Bomb anymore. Bomb nodded. I think it's relevant to mention this cliff now. With that in mind, I took a deep breath and began explaining. While Paper, Bomb, Taco, Pickle, Balloon, and I were investigating outside, we found this cliff. Apparently, this cliff only let non-alive objects fall off the cliff. Alive things couldn't. So I believe that baseball rolling off the cliff isn't correct because of that statement. Oh, I get it. Hold on. If this is true, why didn't you tell us when you found it? Yeah, kind of sus. Not going to lie. Yeah, you guys got a good point. Apple, please don't say that. Hey, don't gang up on them. They didn't want a murder to happen. Yeah, if we told you, you all... Someone might try some something. So we, we kept it a secret just, just in case. Okay, that means the only ones who knew about the cliff's secret is OJ, Paper, Pickle, Balloon, Bomb, and Taco, right? Oh, that narrows it down. That also means that they are on the suspect list. Good point, Paintbrush. How though? Well, they knew that the cliff couldn't drop living things. And if someone who didn't know tried to push someone off of it, would have failed. Besides, none of us knew about the cliff until now. Ah, fair point. So which one of them killed the poor soccer guy? Probably the one who doesn't have an alibi. But who? Uh-oh, here we go. Uh, how did we find a suspect again? Well, we asked the question, who wasn't at the party? So who wasn't at the party? Well, I was in my, my room. I was tired. Yeah, I helped bomb to his bed. Oh, that is that's so true. Oh, I forgot about that. Well, Taco and I were talking with Knife. That counts, right? Mm-hmm. Yep. Well, I was, um, I was in the lobby. No, that's wrong. Yeah, that is very wrong. I, what? 
I said what I said. I was in the lobby. Balloon, I saw you leave the hotel. Yeah, we watched you do it, dude. Uh, you told me that a certain someone sent you a letter during the party and you had to leave. But when you came back, your feet were covered in blood. I, uh... Balloon turned away from everyone. I could see the regret in his eyes before he looked away. Did, did Balloon see the body first? Just as I suspected. You killed Baseball, didn't you? Huh? What? I saw Baseball write that letter. He didn't want to hurt you. He had you in his motive video. He just wanted to talk and you've killed him. No wonder no one could trust you. You were just a backstabbing manipulator. The room went silent after those words. We all stared at Balloon, expecting him to give up. He was the only one who was outside the hotel, but what Balloon did next was unexpected. Wait, what? What? What's going on with Balloon? Oh, he's looking at the letter. Hold on. Balloon grabbed the letter and began reading. Balloon, could you meet me near the 60-foot cliff at 9.25 p.m.? I want to talk to you in private. Don't worry. I won't kill you. I can't even carry any weapons, so it's not a possibility. Baseball. Baseball gave me this letter. I wanted to trust him, so I went down there. But when I reached the cliff, he... He was dead. Okay, yeah, Balloon did see it. Because I was like, wait. After Paper saw the body, the body discovery announcement dinged. And I was like, wait, only two people saw it so far. But Balloon did see it. Balloon put the letter down. He was shaking again. I could have stopped it. I could have saved him. You're right. It's my fault here. But I didn't kill him. I'm telling the truth here. The whole room was silent, but unsure if we should believe him or not. He just came out and explained what happened outside. He was a witness. Balloon. I believe you. I could see Balloon take a sigh of relief when I said that. Yeah, I believe you too. Balloon is totally innocent. Are you serious? You're just going to believe him based on that? He's just saying that to prove himself innocent. I'm, I'm so sorry, but Nickel's right. There isn't enough proof. Oh, what's this? It looks like we have a split down the middle. I believe they know what this means. It's time for a debate scrum, everyone. Oh, here we go. Hey, gotta love the debate scrum. Balloon's the culprit. Balloon's not the culprit. I don't even know why we're fighting over this. Balloon was the only one not at the party. Yeah, he wasn't at the party, but paintbrush, bomb, and baseball weren't either. Have any of you all noticed that Balloon was the only one who knew about the cliff? It's obvious that it's him. Didn't we just say that Bomb, OJ, Paper, Taco, and I also knew about the cliff? Balloon was acting pretty strange before the body discovery. He was planning a murder under our noses. Hey, we all received a horrifying motive video, you know. Of course he was acting strange. You know, right when he left the hotel, there was a loud sound. This sound came from Balloon shooting baseball in the head. Actually, that loud sound came from upstairs. That's not possible since Balloon was outside. There was two sets of bloody footprints, right? Balloon must have done stepped in the blood twice. But wasn't the first set of footprints a bit big? Balloon's steps are small. B Balloon, just uh, admit that you killed him. You are just, you're just, uh, the letter is your alibi. <sighs> now just hold on. Wait, Balloon did have an alibi. OJ saw him leave the hotel, so that counts. Stop defending Balloon already. Balloon shot Baseball in the head with a gun, and that's that. Balloon didn't kill Baseball. The last time I saw him, all he had was a letter. He didn't bring a weapon with him. This is our answer. Bam, we're out. Ooh, it seems that we have a winner. Everyone agrees that Balloon is innocent, yeah? I guess. Aw, that means that we are back to square one. Not exactly. There is something that still needs to be addressed. Like what? How about... The murder weapon. Because Paintbrush and I found a gun in someone's bedroom. Uh, huh? Bob! It's you, Bob! You little b Oh, what now? Oh, right. Me and OJ found a gun locked in someone's closet. I never got the chance to see whose room, though. Why would you not look to see whose room it was? Uh, oh. But why was there a gun in someone's room? Like OJ said before. The gun was locked inside someone's closet. That was such a dumb move. Like, why would you not check whose room it was? Okay, here we are in somebody's room. We found a gun that could possibly be the murder weapon, but we're not going to look and see whose room this is. <laughs> like, what? <laughs> but why? Why would someone lock a gun in their closet? Maybe to hide the weapon? 
yes i agree with that but that is i i don't like that all right that <laughs> that piece of writing is definitely a flaw for me hmm i'm right yeah why would they lock the claws up anyway yay i'm smart Woo! now just a, a moment oh bob is coming in look at this i'm sorry but i don't think that's right what do you mean it's the most logical from your perspective yes but but to me it doesn't make sense rebuttal showdown it just doesn't make sense sense why go all the way from the cliff to, to your bedroom why go all the way to the cliff from your bedroom why waste all that time well marshmallow told me that the sound of the gunshot came from inside meaning that the culprit used the gun and shot from the window that doesn't prove anything why are you so mad anyone could could have used the blazer sniper rifle and shot him oh you got caught what are you talking about bob you got caught in 400k all right <laughs> you made this too easy it's it's bob how do you know what gun it was this is your final stand wait what happened what, what, why is paintbrush out, out here like this bomb i never mentioned the gun's name Oh, I am. Um, I thought you guys already. OJ and I were the first ones to find the gun and only ones, by the way. And if my memory's correct, I'm pretty sure we never mentioned the gun's name to anyone here. The whole room went dead silent. Everyone's eyes were on Bomb, shocked and stunned. Bomb, you are a dumb. <laughs> but, but, but Paintbrush and OJ are also dumb for not checking to see whose room had the sniper rifle in it. Because that was. <laughs> <laughs> that was zero IQ. Answer us, Bomb. How do you know the gun's name? I guessed, okay? What? Are you saying that I'm the culprit? Well, you're making yourself sound like one. Says the one who lied about where they were. Everyone started to argue with each other. It felt like I was the only one who wasn't arguing. Everything was loud and overwhelming. How could I solve this? Oh, okay. I know, I know what's about to happen. What could close this case for good? What could prove that bomb is innocent? What could prove him guilty? The only thing I could think of is... Paper. Huh? Yes? What room did bomb enter when you brought him to his room? Um, I'm pretty sure that bomb entered the room in the right at the end of the hall. Why? Huh? Well, I remember entering that same room when Paintbrush showed me the gun. Uh? Say, I also remember entering that room too. So, bomb, am I wrong? Was that your room? Uh, no. Ah, uh, you lying! No, 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 no! This is all wrong. You're wrong, all of you. He's not listening. I have to make him listen. I'm sorry, bomb, but this trial can't carry on any longer. Dang! Yo, bomb. This is it. You're done. You are done right here. You killed one of my favorite characters. Baseball had the potential to be my favorite character in this whole entire fan game, and you killed them off. So you deserve this. You deserve the L. Oh my God. That is some awesome art though. Argument armament start. This isn't fair. After all I've done, this is how you repay me. Why? I thought we were friends. <sighs> OJ, you have to believe me. We aren't done yet. I tell you. What about B Balloon? He's still suspicious. I just know he, he is. Oh, nah, man. Give it a rest. Ugh. OJ, please. You have to, to believe me. I'm innocent. I, I swear. Please, OJ. Why? Why is it always me? I, I was trying to, to protect you in, in that video. You were going to, to get hurt. I had no choice. OJ, please. Nah, bro. Yeah, it, it's all about that motive video. <laughs> video, the motive did. Or something like that. <laughs> the motive video did. <laughs> I like that. No, that's wrong. Uh, ouch. Break. Uh, uh huh. You said it yourself. That motive video. You were going to get hurt. That's why you did it. To protect me, right? I silently waited for Bomb's response. I didn't want to believe it either. I was hoping that Bomb would fight back, but instead, he put his hands in the air and smiled. Well, I guess there's no need 
for, for fighting back. Congrats, OJ. You caught me. Oh, no. The whole room went silent. Bomb gave up on trying to defend himself. I could see it in his eyes that he was telling the truth. Oh, no. No, no, no. This can't be right. Bomb, you actually... I can't d deny it. I'm sorry. No, no, I... Hold on. We haven't talked about the... The blood smears. We haven't talked about the blood smears yet. Bomb was in his room, right? How could he shoot someone from their room and go all the way and drag Baseball's body? No one saw Bomb leave, so it's not possible. Wait. Balloon. The room silenced as we all stared at Balloon. No one saw it. That's why this wasn't mentioned, but right before investigation time ended, I saw something. I saw an open window. It wasn't just open. There were bloody footprints leading towards the window. And if I'm correct, I believe that window was Bomb's. The room silenced once more as everyone turned from staring at Balloon to staring at Bomb. Bomb? I is this? All Bomb did was nod. Aww. N no! You wouldn't! They still don't believe it. I have to keep everyone safe. Even if it means that we have to sacrifice one to keep everyone else alive. Listen, I'm going to go over this case from beginning to end. Maybe this will get everyone to understand. How does that sound? The room went silent. Some were unsure. Some were scared. But Bomb, he smiled. No! <laughs> go on ahead, OJ, to tell them. He was ready. He knew it was his time. Oh, oh I hate you! But I didn't know if I was ready. But I knew what I needed to do. I needed to end this case. With a single breath, I began explaining. I hate this right now. This is some absolute bullshit. Okay, let's start from the beginning. This case started just recently. Monophone 4 introduced the first motive called the reward motive. The main purpose of these motives were to get one person to kill a certain other to gain something. We tried our best to not fall for these motives, but this art's so good, dude. For the culprit, this motive video hit them. I am unsure on what the culprit's main target was, but... The culprit's plan had already started. This is when I had an idea to hopefully ease everyone's minds. I thought that having a party will make everyone feel better and hopefully forget about the whole motive, which was so dumb, by the way, OJ. At first, we didn't expect the worst could happen, so it was decided. A party it is. But little did we know, this would just be part of the culprit's plan. Man. Using the party's invite list that they helped with, they were down to paintbrush or baseball as a main target. Due to the motive video probably targeting baseball, the culprit chose to kill baseball off. Just like that, the party started. The culprit told Paper that they were tired and decided to leave early. So Paper helped them to the room. Little did Paper know that they were just lying to him to gain an alibi. The culprit entered their bedroom and began to start the murder. I'm unsure on how they knew where Baseball was, so let's just say that the culprit saw Baseball leave the hotel. The culprit grabbed the Blazer sniper rifle that they hid inside the closet earlier, opened a window, and waited. And they shot this man Baseball right off the cliff, man. This, this is gory. Meanwhile, the victim, Baseball, was heading over to the 60-foot cliff. Baseball made a letter to Balloon, wanting to talk about his motive video. When he made it there, however, the unexpected happened. God! Oh! And just like that, Baseball was killed. With the murder done, the culprit had to act fast if they wanted to confuse everyone else. The culprit locked the rifle back inside the closet and crawled out through the window. Once they were at the floor, the culprit began to make their way down to the cliff. Little did the culprit know, someone was already there. And that someone was Balloon. Out of a panic, Balloon did what any person would do when having an encounter with a dead body. He ran away. <laughs> Balloon dipped, man! Balloon was completely oblivious of the fact that he had blood on his feet. Did you see? Look at Balloon right here. Balloon is out. He's like, I'm about to do the dash. <laughs> he got out of there quick. The culprit, however, saw the whole thing. They thought that they could use this as some sort of evidence against him. But for the culprit, it didn't matter. So they quickly began dragging Baseball's body. That man, Bill Balloon, did the dash. He was out, bro. He said, I'm Audi 9000. <laughs> Dropped the body into the water below. 
with the dead one, the culprit made their escape. They quickly scaled up the hotel and back into their bedroom. Then they made it just in time for the body discovery announcement. They pretended to be shocked, but oh, it didn't work, bro. They were just relieved that this plan worked out. Man, I freaking knew it was bomb. Wow. And that's how this case went down, wasn't it? Bomb, the ultimate sniper. That was the easy first case, though. Very, very easy. That was a beginner's level case, you know? The room once more was silent. Everyone had their eyes on B Bomb, who was still smiling. W wow, you got it right. <sighs> Aw, everyone's crying. Ah, why did you do it? You're a f liar. Everyone stopped and stared at Nickel. Nickel, I... No, shut the f up. You said that you knew who the culprit was. You said that you would stop them. You said that the culprit was Balloon. You said that you saw them kill. I trusted you. I f believed you. What? Were you trying to protect your friends? Or was that just an excuse to justify what you did? Hmm. That's not true, right? Uh, of course it's not. I, I would ne- Hold it! Uh-oh, Monophone! Everyone was stunned to hear Monophone 4's voice echo throughout the trial room. I am. I'm not sorry, Bob. But what you just said there is bullsh**. Oh, even Monophone's calling you out. What? Uh-huh. What are you talking about? You're full of bullsh**. Bob would never. Would you like me to give you some proof? I had his motive video inside of me for about three hours. Everyone began whispering amongst themselves until we heard a loud slam. Show us. Oh, Nichols mad, bro. Hey, Nichols about the business right now. N Nickel? Show the video. Eh, okay. Without any hesitation, Monophone 4 began playing Bomb's motive video. You know, it's kind of strange. W what is? It's only been a year since this whole thing. I've been wondering a few things. What would have happened if I just lost? No clue. But it d didn't ha happen, right? Yeah, you're right. Wait, hold on. What's that over? Bang. Ooh. <gasps> OJ! Oh my god, OJ got shot! W what? Uh. Oh, isn't this just sad? The one in red has killed your friend. Even if it would take a bit longer, it will happen. You should hurry. Time is ticking, bomb. Kill the one in red. Save them all. Oh, wow. That's why. Just like that, the video ended. The one in red. Who here is red? Balloon, duh. Ooh, the spice. So there you have it. The one in red. What the f is that supposed to mean? I don't know. Ask Bomb. It is his motive. Bomb? Mm. It was you. <clears throat> what? Him. Anyways, I believe it's voting time. Would everyone else please vote on who you think is the culprit of this case by using your monopads? Make sure you vote the right one. It could risk in a huge punishment. Everyone grabbed their monopads out and began to vote. It only took a matter of time for the voting results to come in, and the results were... Uh-oh, wait, we got a, a video. Ooh, this is fire. Results. Everyone voted bomb. That even looks like bomb right there, the little pie graph. Here we go. Ding, 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 you're correct. Bomb, the ultimate sniper is the killer of baseball. What? Uh, no, th that, that can't be. It is. You son of a... Stand there in denial or anger all you want, but it won't justify what I've done. Wait, you're not stuttering anymore. That's weird. I killed baseball, and that's that. Huh? Ahem, anyways. I believe it's almost time for the moment they had been all wait been waiting for. It's time for the punishment. But what is the punishment? <laughs> well, the answer is very simple. The punishment is death, of course. Ooh. What? Uh, what? No, 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 that's not fair. Yeah, you made the, those videos to get us to kill. It wasn't Bomb's fault. It is his fault. What? Bomb had a choice to kill over something that probably won't happen ever or not kill anyone. And you know what he decided to do? 
He chose to kill someone. Not only that, he made someone lose their only friend, betray our trust, and try to frame me for it. He was the only one who didn't defend me. He was so content on voting me off. And you guys are still defending him? The whole room went silent. Yikes. Balloon, I I'm sorry. I... No, you're not. You're only saying that so you look good in front of everyone else. Balloon stopped and looked at all of us. Oh, won't you look at that? It's working. Ugh. Why do they still trust you? You betrayed us, Bomb. You killed Baseball. So why won't they understand that you are in the wrong? I hate you. Aw. Ooh. Aw. Oh, the friendship. Oh, sh**. Uh. <clears throat> okay. I think we carry this trial for way too long. I better get prepared because this execution will be a banger. Wait. Wait, hold on. Let's give it everything we got. Please, please don't do this. It's punishment time. Bro. Balloon, why balloon? Oh no. Poor Bomb. Bomb lost his friend in the end. Literally, right before he's about to die, he loses his friend. This is the worst way to go out. Uh-oh, the chain. It's here. Oh my god, this is good too. Wait, what? That's a target. It's about to happen. Oh! <gasps> target practice. Oh my god, they're going to shoot bomb. Oh sh Oh my god. <gasps> oh! Oh! <laughs> that was... was Leon level of brutal. Like Leon got shot with baseballs. Bomb got shot with bullets, bro. With bull sniper bullets on top of that, which are huge. They're long. I have to say this right now. Can we get some Fs in the comment section for Bomb? Cause that was the worst ending I have seen for any character in any series I've covered. Like I'm not trying to over exaggerate here. Literally his friend said that he hated him. And then on top of that, man's got thrown on the target and shot up with sniper bullets, bro. Wow. Oh my God. That was brutal. What the f uh, Bomb. This wasn't supposed to. What the f Yeah, I'm saying the same thing. Woo. Now that was the bomb. <laughs> shut the f up. I'm sorry. I said, shut the f up, you f psycho. You seriously think this is a joke? You think this is funny? Someone just died and you're laughing? What are you? Who are you? Who is giving you the right to hack like this? <laughs> OJ, let's calm down. I don't think you should risk it. I don't think anyone gave you the permission to speak. I stumbled back after hearing its voice. His voice was different than before. It was monotone and emotionless. If you don't want to risk losing everyone else, then I suggest that you shut up. What the heck? Is that an eye behind monophone? What the heck is that? Besides, I don't want to handle three deaths on the first chapter, you know. The room was silent. This wasn't monophone four, but someone else. Who are you? I really don't think that matters. Maybe you should ask the one hidden amongst all of you. The one hidden amongst all of us? What does that mean? I think they know, because they are the traitor. Traitor? Is one of us a traitor? 
Huh? <laughs> what? Oh, don't act so surprised. Someone was down to mention it. Besides, I think this little fact will keep everyone on their toes. So, who was the traitor? That's for you to figure out. So keep that in mind when you're walking around this island. No one spoke after that. It was total silence. Everyone was staring at each other with uneasiness. Ahem. Anyways, trial's over. Get out. Out of nowhere, a door behind us. It was the door to the elevator. Having nothing else to discuss, we all exited the trial room. It's still nighttime? Jeez. I noticed that Balloon was walking towards the hotel. Not only that, he was shaking again. Poor Balloon. He's been through a lot. I can't blame him for being mad. He did just get framed for murder. I think you should leave him alone. I completely ignored Nickel and walked over to Balloon. Or don't. I could hear Balloon take several deep breaths when he heard me walking over. I gently put my hand on Balloon's shoulder. He stopped moving. Hey, Balloon, are you okay? You can t Balloon spun around and slapped my hand off of him. Oh, the friendship. Leave me the f alone. Oh my God, the friend group is gone. I rubbed my hand in pain, only to focus back at Balloon, who he was already gone. Told you. Gee, thanks. Okay, okay, let's not fight right now. OJ, let's go to bed. We could try handling Balloon later. Yeah, okay, sure. I grabbed Paper's hand as we both made our way inside the hotel. We made our way through the lobby and up the stairs. Once we reached the dormitory hall, I walked over to my door. Night, Paper. See you in the morning. I turned to the door and took hold onto the handle, but once I did, I felt someone pull me back. When I turned around to see who it was, I could see Paper staring right at me with concern in his eyes. Paper, what's wrong? No, OJ. What's wrong with you? Everyone heard what you said back there, and I can't just ignore it. So, OJ, do you want to talk about something? I, I don't know. Maybe I should. No. No, I shouldn't. This is already too much to handle. No. No, I'm good. I'm too tired to talk about anything right now. Oh, well, if you're ready to talk, don't be afraid to come to me, okay? Will do. Night. Night. I waved paper goodbye and walked into my room, closing the door behind me. But the moment I entered that room, I fell to the floor. They are really dead, aren't they? Baseball. Bah. They're both dead. And I promise that no one will die. I said that no one will die. I promise to keep everyone safe. I failed to keep that promise. I... I failed them. I failed everyone. I let them die. I lied to everyone. I let them get hurt. I... I don't deserve to be alive. Man. Wow. 14 out of 16 objects remain after that. That was a crazy class trial. It was very easy. That was beginner friendly. Let's be honest, guys. Like once they showed the gun, it was pretty much like, okay, it's locked in. It has to be bomb at this point, right? So that wasn't the hardest class trial of all time. It was a nice first class trial. Had a nice little like emotional moment between the friends and such. You can see that everything has gone to complete crap, which I really like to see. <laughs> I don't know why, but when we watch these fan games or if we read them, I'm like, man, I can't wait until that first class trial is done just to see how much everybody just gets completely destroyed after that. And as you guys can see, they are looking horrible right now. So mission accomplished. With that being said, shouts out to the creator for this amazing fan game thus far. Enjoyed chapter one. The writing is pretty good. I had a couple gripes in that one, I will say. There was a couple gripes, but for the most part, it was pretty well done. With that being said, thank you guys for watching this video. Hit that like button if you haven't already. Comment down below your thoughts on this video. I wanna see what you guys have to say about this trial. Did you think that it was bomb? Like, it was pretty obvious, right? I don't even know why I'm asking that. And subscribe if you're new. I would really appreciate that. And with that being said, I'll see you guys in the next video. Deuces. Hope will never die. Orale.